Police say they're investigating if a fire at an Islamic centre in Muswell Hill, North London, was racially motivated. It was being used as a mosque. Sky's Fra uh, Fraser Maud is at the scene for us this afternoon. Um, and Fraser, what's happening there at the moment? Well, at the moment, uh, investigations are still at their very early stage. The fire is under control. It was brought under control at around 20 to 5 this morning, having started at around a quarter past three. At the moment, you can see uh, the amount of damage done to the property. The roof there has collapsed. It's a two-storey building. Clearly, serious damage has been caused to this, uh, this building. It's the uh, Bravanese centre. It's a, a, an area uh, a, a, that is heavily populated by Somalis here. It's a Somali uh, Islamic centre. They say it hasn't been used as a mox. Uh, mosque. It's mainly an educational centre. They give Saturday lessons, there are educational facilities uh, and so on. But they say it's used by the whole community here. It's not just used by the Somali community. The police say that they have to accept that there is a potential that this is a racially motivated attack. Clearly the Somali population here do think it is an attack. They think it's deliberate. The police at the moment say they are treating it as suspicious but no arrests have been made and clearly there's no confirmation as yet as to whether it was started deliberately or by whom or for what purpose. Uh, a few moments ago I spoke to uh, one of the community leaders here, Abu Bakr Ali, and he gave me uh, the reaction of the Somali uh, community to this attack. We are appalled and deeply saddened by this horrific and foolish act against a, a peaceful community. While no one was hurt, thankfully, in the attack, the effect of this, cr of this crime will be felt deeply not only by the members of the Somali community, but by the wider community in the London of Barnet and beyond. We urge everyone to remain calm and let the police and the firefighters do their job. Uh, yeah, police uh, investigating uh, the possible motive at the moment. Fraser, what else have they been saying about this? Well, they've issued a statement just in the last few minutes, Sarah Jane, from uh, the uh, Chief Superintendent, Adrian Usher, who's one of the community representatives here for the Metropolitan Police. He says he's spoken to the community leaders and assured them that a thorough investigation is being conducted. The safety of our communities, he says, is always our priority, and we're consulting widely, offering our support and reassurance. All communities can be confident that they have our support and that I can be contacted personally to answer their concerns. He reiterates there that there have been no arrests at this stage. We understand that there's a meeting between police and community leaders uh, being carried out at the moment in which the police will no doubt be reassuring the community. The community clearly will want questions answering as to who is behind this attack and what motivated it. Clearly tensions have been running high uh, since the death of drummer Lee Rigby in, in Woolwich a couple of weeks ago. It's potentially uh, the situation that this could have been caused in some sort of misguided reprisal following that attack but that will form the, the majority, the main part of the, uh, the Metropolitan Police investigation. In in terms of the fire service investigation which is underway, we've seen them uh, up on a, a platform, a, a raised platform, filming down onto the top of the scene. Clearly their investigations into how the fire was started uh, are, are currently well underway. It could be some time before those details are known uh, and clearly the police will be focusing not just on how it was started but why it was started.